Welcome to Santa Lijo Lagoon. My name is Janelle West and I am the lead instructor for Bio 102, which is a non-majors introduction to biology that focuses on ecology and environmental biology. So um, about five years ago in 2008, I established some long-term vegetation transects across the street at the Santa Lijo Lagoon, which are really designed to capture the um, potential impacts that improving hydrologic flow will have on vegetation. So students who are in Bio 102 um, in the in-person sections have the opportunity to participate in this as an extra credit event. Um, but all students who take the course, regardless of modality, learn the techniques of vegetation sampling that we use to um, measure the health of our plant communities here locally and around the world. So this particular course is good for anyone. It is open to non-majors and we love everyone to be a part of it. Um, if you have any questions, you're welcome to reach out to me. My email is jwest at maricosta.edu. Um, if you are interested in environmental science or an environmental management career, um, Bio 102 is one of the courses that would be great for that. And you can get a little bit of hands-on experience in some of these techniques. Um, eventually, as our data set grows, we'll have more opportunities for research and um, additional analysis and application of our results. So we'd love to have you join us in Bio 102 and you can take a look with us out in the field today. So what are these for, Dr. Rest? <laughs> okay, these are our one meter by one meter squared quadrats that we are going to lay down at purposeful increments along a transect. So this is one meter by one meter, and it has some string across it to actually subdivide the area into 100 squares. So we are assessing a metric of vegetation that's called percent cover. And percent cover just asks a very simple question. What percentage of the area of this grid does each species um, make up? Right Now what's a little bit different about percent cover is that these numbers don't all add up to 100. And that's because in real, the real world, plants grow in the layered fashion. And so you can typically have multiple species that might be 70, 90% cover, and that could totally happen. Of course, there's also bare areas too. But this is our tool that we use. Um, real high tech, we get most of our stuff from Lowe's and Home Depot, but it works. Thank you. Oh, I was just gonna make one point that all of the plants that we're looking at, they are salt marsh plants, um, and they can tolerate the salt and the water logging in unique ways, but you could actually grow them in a pot in your backyard mm -hmm. in fresh water, and they would be amazing, mm -hmm. okay? So the advantage that they have for living out there is that they are superior competitors if the environment stays salty. To, we're kind of here in the parking lot. If you can see these pink lines on my aerial map, um, there are three parallel transects. And so we're going to. There's definitely some dead stuff that's laying down here, but you might recognize some of the pieces that we just saw earlier. This one, for, or this is Jamea actually. Yeah, no, common, <laughs> easy to confuse them. So we have Jamea here. Um, you guys remember this one that kind of looks yellowish? That's the Alkali Heath. Um, do you see some other things in there? You can kind of paw around in there and how they're, <laughs> see the layers, Sean? <laughs> Yes, that's what you were mentioning. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Aerial picture wouldn't do justice. Yeah. <laughs> Might not Perfect, and there's a little flower bud. That's the other um, The parasite. Oh, oh, this is parasite. Yeah, the orange is the parasitic plant, oh. Cascuta. Oh. So, oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So all those little white dots are individual flowers. There's a few that are open right there. I was hoping to see some leeches. <laughs> <laughs> leeches, no leeches. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So yeah, we have some 60 minutes. Yeah. yeah. 60 and then 80. Do you want to do it? Just stand over here and I'll check. On 
want to say it's still like it covers everything, but <laughs> it might even be more. Um, yeah, because you should say a little amount. Should be 90, 95, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. 95 more. Feel to be in the field collecting authentic data. I think it's really nice. It's so beautiful out here, and I feel like it's cool being able to make a difference in the research that she's doing. Especially since she said she's been doing it for so long. Like now we're a part of it too, which is really cool. I think especially for people that are like STEM majors going into the bio field, this is like a good example of see if you love what you do. You know, kind of learn a little bit, see some different plant species. And it'll be cool because like, then I can be like. I think even now, even like out of the field trips that we've done, sometimes I'll go on walks and like I'll point out things to myself that I've seen. So I think this class is just like really interesting already. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. So being in the field and collecting authentic data, does it? How does it feel like? It feels nice. I feel like I'm uniting with nature. Nice. I love it. It's really interesting to learn about the nature. It's a new experience, new perspective. I mean, if you just look at this plant, it would be boring, but if you were to feel it, touch it, taste it, smell it, it's a new sensation. It's way better than just not being at the field and experiencing it. Yes, so oftentimes we just walk past them and on them. Yes. And you don't even know what are you walking on. It's really interesting to learn. We're getting into this chance to do something. There too. How is this class different from other science classes you have taken? It's actually very different because my major is environmental engineering. Oh my god, yeah. But I was doing it in Ukraine. And it's completely a completely new experience for me. And I love it. I love our professor. She's really caring. And I love the activities we do. Wonderful. It's actually helpful. Hands I on, think. learning, digital, cooperative, individual. It's really diverse in that. All right, guys. Wonderful, wonderful. In one sentence, how did it feel today? Refreshing. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Enjoyable. So in one sentence, can you tell me can you tell us uh, how how did it feel today? Um I felt really just inspired, I guess. I feel like I've never been super interested in this and I feel like this class every day, every time I come into class, it just makes me more and more interested in helping the environment. And like you learn so much. You saw, we saw like so many like, we saw spiders, we saw so many plants that I've never seen, that I'll probably never see again. So I feel like it's really inspiring. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So one sentence, how did it feel today? I feel like you really got to be active in a field of study that some some people where they study they don't have like access to like beautiful places like this with so many different plant species so I think we're really like lucky and should be grateful that we have this opportunity that our professors provide us so I felt really grateful. Wonderful, wonderful, thank you. How would you reflect on today's experience? How, how was it? You have been uh, collaborating on this for yes, quite a while. Yeah, Denise, um, actually her son worked for the Nature Collective and he um, as part of, after his doctoral program, he helped us establish the transects and Denise has been so helpful and helped me identify locations and she's a botanist by trade more than myself, so her expertise is always useful, but it's just so great to get our students out in the field and um, I think the way that we've changed this to be um, a smaller group that we're working yeah. with is definitely helpful, but they're getting all that experience in other habitats too. So the ones who want to learn a little bit more get to come here and we're super proud that we have the option to let yeah. them do that. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's always satisfying. I know it, plant identification can be daunting yeah. and, and a little intimidating, but it just takes a couple of minutes of minutes of you know close observation or comparison. And as they're walking along, they're all of a sudden yeah, they're well, they're wetland specialists. They can they identify. Know yeah. They can tell the difference between yeah. the salty season and the pickle leaf, and then they notice oh that's something different. So it's really um, you know it's good to see that it, it's you can. Incremental steps can get you quite a ways down the road, so they can they can definitely feel more confident. I think they've gained confidence today, yes, yeah, they did, and it will continue. Yeah, yeah, That's and wonderful. just um, marshes are such unique places. And in North County, we have this amazing collection of these islands of nature. And if by taking our students down into the marsh, they gained a little appreciation for that and have this um, impetus to support and conserve those habitats, I think that's a huge win. Yes. So, yeah. Thank That's you. wonderful. Right. Thank, right. You. <laughs> Thank you. Three. One more. One, two, three. Perfect. Now that's...